The goal of tree planting sounds good. It's a simple idea. Trees can help suck up carbon emissions from the atmosphere and save us from ourselves. Unfortunately, simple ideas can't always be done simply. All of these tree planting initiatives require planting a lot of trees. Today, we will be planting 20 million trees. But they also should require planting a variety of trees and planting the right trees. Next time you hear someone espousing the virtues of tree planting, which is why we created teamtrees.org, make sure you know what they're talking about because they probably don't. <laughs> When planting trees anywhere, the first step should be understanding that ecosystem. Only trees that are native to an area should be planted there, and they should be planted diversely. This is because trees, just like any animal, need their specific ecosystem to thrive. They need the right bugs and the right insects. They need the right animals. They need the right water levels, and they need the right climate. One of my biggest concerns and one of the biggest problems with these tree planting initiatives is that they have one primary concern and that is speed. They all want to plant a lot of trees very fast. fast. And historically, whenever humans try to change the environment without taking time to think it through, we fuck it up. And you may hear me say that and say, well, I've seen all these 8 billion tree promotions. They gotta be doing something right. They got all these volunteers. They got the ads all over YouTube. There's no way an organization like 8 billion trees wouldn't be doing it right. But are they doing it right? When you go to their website or try to look up anything about how 8 billion trees is operating, you'll learn two primary things. One, they're concerned with conserving forests and trees that are already there, which is very good. It's important to conserve the existing ecosystems. And two, they're planting an insane number of trees insanely fast. On its face, this sounds good. But whenever I try to find out which trees they're planting, there's not a lot of information available. And this is the real problem. Are they actually planting forests that will last? Or is this just a numbers game? I'm not saying that there's no benefit to tree planting, but it is really hard to tell if these big organizations like 8 Billion Trees or the Trillion Tree Campaign are enacting their plans safely. At the end of the day, if you can't find information about how many different species are being planted or whether or not these trees are indigenous to the area where they're being planted, you shouldn't give them your money or time. If they're doing the right thing in the right way, then they need to be 100% transparent about it. Because if they're not going about this in the right way, these efforts will do well way more harm than good. You're not helping! <laughs> In a really well-written Slate article on this subject, Ted Williams put it this way. Planting trees can be beneficial, especially in countries where predatory logging and other land abuse has destroyed soil stability and deprived people of shade, clean water, fish, and fruit. But such initiatives are the exception. Mass plantings are apt to do more harm than good, and it's nearly impossible to distinguish decent projects from bad ones. If the goal is more trees and not which trees, then we have a problem. The whole tree planting effort might be a giant waste. It's a waste of life! Williams is right when he says there's no good way to tell the good from the bad. When you look at all the popular tree planting programs, their transparency ain't great. And this should raise serious questions about whether or not this is where we should be putting our money and effort. Because if we're just planting trees wherever we can find open land, we'll end up with unsuitable forests and they'll die out almost as quickly as they were planted. And it's not only about planting trees that are indigenous to the area where they're being grown. It's also about making sure that we have a high level of biodiversity so the forest can sustain itself without human help in the long term. And on top of that, whether these organizations are planting the wrong trees or not a big enough variety of trees, there could be serious consequences for the ecosystems that are already there. Rapid planting without attention to tree species or plant diversity could negatively affect animals, insects, and other organisms that are indigenous to the area. One example of how willy-nilly planting can cause harm to the environment is the history of eucalyptus trees in California. Eucalyptus trees are not native to California, but people have been planting them around the state for a long time. The way this has been done is by planting trees in a plantation setting, meaning they're planting them over a lot of treeless areas. The problem is that a lot of these areas are plains. Plains are a different ecosystem than forests, so planting trees in a plain will destroy that natural ecosystem. And in the case of eucalyptus trees, it can be very destructive very quickly. This is because eukes kill competing plants with their natural natural herbicide, and because they're not native to the Americas, all the surrounding plants haven't evolved to be able to fight this off. And then there's the added problem of fire. Eucalyptus trees prosper in the forest fire environment to the detriment of other plants. When the top of a euc catches fire, it doesn't burn. 
it explodes. You can see how this would be a huge problem for all the surrounding plants, and not to mention it makes the fire spread much faster. But I hear you asking, if there's all this science about how mass tree planting can do more harm than good, then why are there so many global tree planting initiatives? Where did all of this tree planting stuff come from? Well, I'm quoting from that same Slate article I was quoting earlier. Zurich's Crowther Lab published a paper in Science proclaiming that planting a trillion trees could store 25% of the current atmospheric carbon pool. That assertion is ridiculous, because planting a trillion trees, one third of all trees currently on Earth, is impossible. Even a start would require the destruction of various grasslands that reflect rather than absorb solar heat, and that with current climate conditions are better carbon sinks than natural forests, let alone plantations. Also unlike trees, grasslands store most of their carbon underground, so it's not released when they burn. You, me, every one of us, every living organism is made up of carbon, and when we die, we go down and we join the soil carbon cycle too. And the antelope eat the grass. And so we are all connected in the great circle of- Of course, turning our planet into nothing but grasslands wouldn't be the solution either. And regardless, planting trees over existing grasslands, plains, and savannas, which would be required if we were going to plant a trillion trees, would just destroy those ecosystems and cause even greater harm to the environment on a whole. So what do we do? Protecting trees that already exist in a biodiverse ecosystem is a far better way to promote healthy forests. And none of this is to say that planting trees is not helpful. It totally is. But only when done right. Planning to plant a forest is nothing like planning to plant a farm. With a farm, you harvest and replant yearly. But a forest is supposed to maintain itself. Obviously, a brand new, man-planned forest is going to need constant maintenance to make sure everything is growing right. But the goal in the long term is that you'll have a forest that lasts and grows and promotes wildlife all on its own for centuries. So protecting trees can be a good step to try and slow climate change. However, it's important to consider other options. As basic ass citizens, we've been thought to think of ourselves as powerless in certain arenas. It's nice to hear that we can make a positive difference on the world and maybe save our species by planting stuff. Especially because it's something all of us have the power to do. But I believe planting 20 million trees can save the world. As I just talked about, planting is not the thing we should be focusing all of our energy on. Planting trees doesn't stop us from doing all the other things that are poisoning our environment. Don't litter. Don't litter. The average US citizen alone creates about 2,000 pounds of waste every year. That's one person. We have to make way bigger changes to how we live. The solution is not gonna be large-scale gardening. On the individual level, we need to change the little stuff in our lives if we actually care about our future and our species. Recycling when possible, not letting the sink run, turning lights off. These are all little things that all of us can do to reduce our waste. Avoid paper products when reusable options are available. Stop buying Ziploc baggies and buy silicone baggies that you can wash and reuse. And that one will actually save you money, because you won't have to keep buying sandwich bags. Don't litter. But on a big scale, just remember that when you're deciding who to vote for or where to donate, there is not one big answer to solving climate change. It's not only about recycling or trees or renewable energy. It's about everything. It's about all this stuff and more. And as with anything, it's also about our governments. For example, it's really hard to not buy plastic when every item in the store comes in a plastic container. That doesn't need to be the way things are packaged, but that's not gonna stop without legislation. So as with everything else, what really matters here is voting. At the end of the day, we have a lot of people in government who are experienced, but their age is just a demonstration of how little they care. They're not part of the future, which is why they're not trying to make it better. But younger people actually have a stake in what happens next. Local elections are always a great place to start, and if you don't know anyone who is running who you would want to vote for, and you're old enough, maybe you should run. I'd vote for you. Thumb up my butt sounds better. If we really want to help the planet and ensure our species doesn't go extinct in the next couple hundred years, it's about more than just donating. And that's the info about that. Trust me, I'm like a smart person. 